Hey folks, covering a, a quick pickup. So um, I actually got given things from two different places. So um, the store owner from Just Yuki gave me some containers and some sleeves, which you'll be seeing in this video. And then the cards themselves I got at uh, Anime Thon 25th anniversary in the year 2018. And uh, they gave me uh, all this, and I have their business card there. So shout out to them when their card pops up so you can see who was awesome. Just gave me like a scat of cards. Um, so these are Universal Fighting System cards. I stuck them in the sleeves again that I got from Just Yuki. I'm going to go through the cards. Basically what I did is I got a hero card and I found a bunch of cards that had the same elements as them, slapped them together, and I'm going to alter the deck when I actually get cards that I can alter it with. Because um, I have King of Fighter cards and those ones are out of rotation. So since it was at Anime Thon, the story is at Edmonton. Okay, here's so there's business cards. So... Uh, apparently Sundays is when they have the universal fighting system thing and this is the place that actually gave me the stuff so um, They were giving away promos and things and they I was the end of the day and I was uh, poking through the um, Common stack because I wanted to see if they had a, a Specific character so I could go get signed by the voice actors uh, and they did not, but they gave me this huge stack of commons, and they're like, come play, and uh, I'm thinking, I don't live in Edmonton, but since I YouTube, I shall tell you all of how nice that place was to give me a giant stack of commons. So this is empty, that's an extra sleeve. This is, uh, cami, extra cami, and then we're gonna go look through these cards. Uh, so I gave the Guile card to Boca, because he loves Guile. So just, you know, quickly looking through the cards. Uh, they're probably horrible. I haven't played this game since... Ooh, 2015, I want to say, is the last time I played. Um, might have been longer. I had like a, a Terry deck and two other decks. But the Terry deck just murdered everything. And I believe he was banned for a short time because he was just like... Mind Sculptor broken in the world of UFS because it was like I do this thing. Nah, I changed my mind. That's my ability. Haha, <laughs> suck it. And uh, so Yeah, it was It was great because <laughs> I was the one with the Terry deck <laughs> uh, And you know I there wasn't really organized groups playing it was kind of just like show up and play so yeah of course, there might have been some, and I just didn't because I had a Terry deck. Uh, actually, I could go find that deck later if you guys are interested in this stuff and show you what was in the Terry deck starter. Uh, I actually picked up the deck considerably cheap. Um, the card shop that was near my house at the time uh, was selling it for like $5. By the way, I don't live in Edmonton at all, so... Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to get to some of these places. Um, Alright. So. we Again. Thank you to just Yuki for giving me all the, the stuff. To put my cards in. So here's a Jira. And. Uh, I don't remember too much about this game anymore. Uh, there's like zones because you know when you play fighting games there's like high kicks or high attacks medium attacks and low attacks and so i believe it follows that and then there's like elements on the side there and your hero has to have one of the L of three elements on the card in order to use it so um you know if your character has like water on it the water wave thing then the care the cards and move cards that you need need to make sure that they have that wave on it. Obviously, it's a card game, so there's synergy. Uh, some cards are unique to specific characters and cannot be used by other ones. Um, and, yeah. It's a really good game. Honestly, it's like 
because everyone's all like, oh, what if this character fight that one or this one, you know? And I just, I love crossovers, and this is basically a crossover game. So you get to, like, basically verse all those amazing characters. And, you know, some, of course, releases aren't as powerful as other ones, but, you know, it's fun. It's a great game to play. I really do enjoy it. I have a poster actually of it somewhere. So these are player cards. I was like I was telling you before. So uh, hand size. This is going to be your HP. So you know in Magic how you start with twenty. Well, this is going to determine that. Then here is his three elements. Here's what he does, and they have like the gender signs over there. Yeah. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, next, I'm going to show you I was given the Japanese dual decks of Chandra and uh, Jace, and I will be going through those next. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.